Hey, um, really interesting uh, tip to throw out at everybody today. Just uh, wanting to help you kind of think outside the box here. Um, I have a project that called for uh, a train track running next to the site, and I thought instead of uh, trying to model that uh, with a whole bunch of different elements, uh, I would just throw it together really quickly with a, a couple of um, a couple of railing elements. Uh, and really, all this is is uh, quite simply a um, a custom profile that represents both of the rails, and then a really quick and easy um, uh, inner post that uh, that represents, or I should say, balusters that are used to represent uh, the railroad ties. Um, so this is really just set to offset in um, two foot six, five foot wide track, um, and uh, it's offset to have two foot. Um, uh, spacing on it, um, and then that is a six foot wide by ten inch thick uh, beam, basically that just repeats every two feet. Um, the rail itself is pretty simply just a profiled rail that's been saved to my profile manager uh, and used to extrude and represent both of the railroad ties uh, simultaneously. So this is um, kind of a really interesting way to uh, use a tool for something that it wasn't intended for. Uh, the other cool thing about this is that when I need it to conform to the train or slope, uh, this is pretty malleable uh, and allows me to add nodes and bend and twist and adjust and, and add uh, slope to match the train wherever necessary. Um, anyway, I hope this is helpful for somebody.